Hi everyone, it's my pleasure to share some interesting findings in this conference about digital competence in higher education. It is a case study of teachers' perception of working with technologies. And my name is Yu Zhao, I'm from University of Salamanca. And also here you can see some amazing professors that worked with me. To make this presentation much more clear to be understood, I have divided them into different sections. Introduction, method, results, and conclusions. The first part, introduction. Well, with the development of technological tools and the changing world situation, digital competence is becoming increasingly important to our current knowledge society and it has played an important role in the learning process. However, the measurement of digital components is a challenge in further understanding their development in practice. So I would like to say the objective of, of this research. The aim of this study was to explore university teachers' perception of using ICT tools in educational activities and also to investigate their uh, level of digital competence in higher education. Well, in this study, a self-report questionnaire and an interview was used to collect the data. Uh, the survey was completed by a sample of 536 uh, teachers who worked in different faculties in Gansu Agricultural University in China. In the right side, you can see some beautiful view of their campus. And also in the left side, you can see in the sample how many female and how many male. As I mentioned before, uh, I used a mixed method in this study. So... Uh, we have collected their personal information, digital competence, the use of IC tools, attitude and opinion of using IC tools. This is how the questionnaire was made up with. And also we did an interview. We used uh, NVivo 10 to collect the qualitative data and also the SPSS program to deal with the quantitative data. Well, after collecting data, we have to make several analyses to have some interesting results. We have quantitative results and also the qualitative results. I would like to invite you to pay attention to the mean of this table. And by the way, the instrument that I used was a four point scale. You can see here. Well, according to the table one, we can see that teachers' digital competence in this section, information and data literacy, were in general quite positive. This is the results about communication and collaboration. We'll move on to the next one, digital content creation. We can see here that the teachers didn't think they did a good job in this section. Well, here are some results about security. And the last, we have results about problem solving. Move on to the quality, qualitative results. First, we are going to show you our uh, word cloud that you can see how does the teacher uh, think, think about using IC tools in their, t uh, the, in their educational ac activities. Also, we have some examples from the interview. It shows how the teacher th uh, think in using IC tools in classroom. Well, about the conclusions, we observed that teachers' positive perception of using IC tools in teaching activities. We uh, they considered themselves to be good, competent, mainly in some aspects. For example, the information and data literacy, communication and collaboration, safety and problem solving, but they are not good at creating digital content. From the quality of results, we know that teachers have realized the importance of using IC tools and having digital competence in their teaching activities. Also, we also observed the connection with the use uh, with the use of these tools and the quality of education. 
of course, in this study, we also have uh, we also have several limitations. Anyhow, thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you.